How's it going today, YouTube? We're here with Red. I got a question for y'all. What is a few things that these old vehicles are missing? I mean, they're cool, easy to work on, but what are a few things that they are missing? Well, automatic, automatic lights, backup camera, and remote start. So that's where we're starting with this. Now, I don't have the stuff for the remote start yet, but that'll be a future video. But what I did do is I went and bought a Pioneer stereo that had a backup camera with it. And I'm in the middle of installing that right now. Um, we'll take a look at the stereo here in a second and where I'm at. I got the dashboard out of red, as you can see. But, anyway, there's a nice doubled-in stereo. Fine ear. Ain't the highest-end one, but it did have the backup camera. So, I'll show how I'm going to hook up that backup camera. So, because I don't have, like, reverse lights, so I can't really hook it up there. But I have an ingenious thing to do with the with the wiring so I can use whenever I whenever I push the, the trans brake button to back up I'll have the rear camera on rear camera just sits here it bolts to the to the license plate there just a little camera so I'll have a backup camera I'll have to adjust it once I get it hooked up but yeah, I got got the fuel cell done. I got the cow tracks on it. Um, I've ran I've ran the truck, so I know it runs again. Changed all the filters, new lines, um, new fuel pump, new fuel cell. So hopefully, I won't have any problems with the fuel system again. But also. Um, I found a place where I get non-ethanol fuel So I went and got some non-ethanol fuel And I put some 110 race fuel in it That gives me about Because it was 87 non-ethanol And 110 of, of race fuel So mixing it That should give me Because it's 5 gallons of race fuel And 9 gallons of 87 it gives me about a 97, 98 octane fuel for the truck. Now, when it was built, my builder said it, the best was about 104 octane is what the motor really wanted. So, I'd have to use more race fuel. But 15 gallons to fill this thing up was right at $100. So, fuel's expensive. But anyway, we'll get into getting this wired up, and I'll show you how I'm going to wire everything up. We'll be back. Well, we're back. Yeah, the first part of the video, it took place like two days ago. Because it's been raining, and you noticed before, I wasn't wearing a coat. It's cold now. But anyway, um, I got the stereo in. We'll get to that in a little bit. I got the speakers and the sub in. I've tested it. It works. So, and I got a reverse camera. So... Now then what we're working on is we're working on the automatic headlights. Now, let's flip around and take a look. I got these wiring, and I know wiring scares a lot of people, but it's really not that bad. So, we'll go over here and we'll take a look at the, the uh, headlight switch. And I couldn't find a diagram for a Dodge headlight switch that made any sense. So, let's get down here. And we'll round. Okay, here's a Chrysler switch. Now I've taken my meter and I figured out that this one here is the main headlight power for the headlights. And then let's see. I have to look at this. Okay, this one here, this middle one, is the out for the headlights. That's the main power, and that one's 
That one's the main headlight. Now then, this one here, right here, it's a power in, and that's got to be for the marker lights, and then up here is for the dash lights. That's the out for the dash lights. Okay. Now these two, I'm not sure what they go to. However, there's no power, but whenever you pull out the headlights, they connect. They're open when the headlight switch is off, and they are connected when the headlight switch is pulled out and the headlights are on. So I'm, I'm imagining these are probably marker lights, and somehow they get the power from the headlights. I'd actually have to probably plug it in, turn on the headlights and try and figure that out. But what I'm going to do is hook a relay up between here and here, okay? And then hook a relay up between here, here, and here. And then have another relay for these two. And they will all be um, the relays will be powered by the ignition, so they won't turn on unless the key is on. Now then, up here on the dash, you can see, see if we can find it, got the camera, there it is. That is a 12 volt, uh, photo cell. So... When it gets dark, that photo cell will come on, and it will it will it will actually let the headlights and taillights, marker lights, all come on. Now then, what I'm also going to do is in this little hole here, I'm going to put a toggle switch. And what that toggle switch will do is that will allow me to bypass everything. It'll be powered from probably the battery to it and then go over and turn on a relay to turn on the rest of the relays. Um, I'm going to have to figure out how to, how to make that work right. Um, so I can turn on the headlights during the day or if that switch messes up, something like that. So I have, so I make sure I have headlights. I bought this relay set up to do this. I'll need three, these three for the main power. And what I might do is I might hook up the, uh, the toggle switch, hook these up, and these will power these basically when that, te when that toggle switch is hooked up. So that way I don't have cross voltages. <laughs> I can split everything up. That's probably what I end up doing. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang that right there. And that'll be that'll be my uh automatic headlight relay box right there. So, that's what we're doing today. Let's get the sun out of your faces. But that's what we're doing today and We'll come along and I'll show you a little more on how to do everything. And then um, the next installment of this video, probably be in a day or so. But uh, I'll show you how everything works right. So we'll be back. Hope you're enjoying the video. This one's taking me a long time to do. All right, later guys.